Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Harold is cutting off some rope. He's cutting off 18 and a half inches from a rope that is 60 inches long. And we need to find the remaining rope. So that seems pretty simple. Written in decimal form. That's going to be a little bit tricky there. So let's see if we can draw a strip diagram to just capture exactly what we're doing here. So we've got our hole up here. We know we've got 60 inches. And then we've got two different parts, so we can think of it as a part, part, whole. So here's my 18 and a half, that's what he's cutting off. And then my question is, what is this right here? What's the leftover? So looking at that, it's pretty clear we're going to do a little bit of subtraction here. So 60 minus 18 and a half. Now that is going to be a little bit tricky because we have a little bit of mixed numbers. So we've got two different ways. We know we are going to have to go ahead and put this into decimal form. So let me show you the, what I would consider the easier way to do this, changing everything into decimal. And so if we need to change this into decimal, we know 60 is going to go right up here. That's going to be our larger number. We need to change this 18 and a half into a decimal. And so let's line up our decimals. There are no decimals in 60, so since there are no decimals, always look for the ones place. Exactly to the right of that is going to be your decimal. So it's going to be 18 point, because we know that half is less than a whole. But what is that half going to be? Well, if we don't have that memorized, what we can always do is we can always divide up. So let's take our half. We're going to divide up. That means take our denominator, divide it up into our numerator. 2 goes into 1 0 times, decimal, and we can keep adding zeros until we're done, but we don't need to just more than once, 0 0.5. So 18.5 is what 18 and a half is. 5 tenths is equal to 1 half. Before we subtract this, what we need to do is we need to put a 0 up here on top because there needs to be at least something above that 5, and a 0 is going to be a placeholder for since it has no value. And now we have to do quite a bit of regrouping. So that's going to be 5. That's 10. Take one away from 10. We've got 10 tenths. Now we can subtract. That's going to be 5. That's 1. Looks like 41.5. Now that was what I consider the easy way. What's the harder way? Harder ways to keep everything as fractions or mixed numbers. So I've already got my 18 and a half, I need to change my 16 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 60, I'm going to take one away from my 60, and that's going to leave me 59. Now, I'm not going to get rid of that one, I'm going to rename it into two halves, two twos. So this two twos equals one, plus that 59 gets me back up to 60. Why would I do that? Now I can subtract, because when we add or subtract fractions, we need to have the same denominators. So 2 halves minus 1 half, that's going to be 1 half. And then I can just subtract this like normal. That's going to be 41 and a half. But even if I do 41 and a half, I've got to change that back into a decimal. We already showed you how you can change your fraction into a decimal by dividing up the other way. If possible, see if you can change the denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, because those are our first three place values. And I see that I know 2 times something is going to make me 10. I know 2 times 5 is going to make me 10. So I'm going to do 5 over 5. That's how you make equivalent fraction. You multiply the numerator or denominator by something that's equal to 1. 5 fifths is equal to 1 whole. 1 times 5 makes 5. And look at that, 5 tenths. See that 5 tenths right there? That's what I had right there. So now all I need to do is I need to graph it here in my little free response. This is what you're going to look like. You're going to have two decimals, three whole numbers, and you're going to say 41.5.